Good morning from Cameron, Ontario. Nail the good. Tracy here. Today we are going to do this beautiful, it's almost like a present now without drawing the box or anything like that. And I did this one and the background is yellow and I didn't like the black around the bow. It accentuates the bow, yes, but I'm going to try something different. But this is basically what we are going to do today. The other thing that uh, you need to know is you don't have to draw the bow in a specific area on these. And that's that's the good thing. <laughs> and you don't have to have diagonal. You can have straight or you can have it across or you can have it on an opposite angle. There's so many different ways that you can you can do this. It's it's pretty cool. I am going to do this one with acrylic paint to show you that it can both be done with acrylic paint and with nail polish. This is nail polish. But I got the sparkly paint now and I'm all excited about it, so I want to test it out on the nail polish. It's not doing a very good coverage. soaking into my brush but we'll get her done but while this is drying it'll give me a chance to work on the other nails and show you now I'm gonna do this in different colors and what I like about this idea is that you can use it for like going to a maternity party or baby to be party or whatever you want to call it. You can use it at Christmas. You can use it for somebody's birthday, somebody's anniversary. You know, that's what I like about this. So I think it's pretty cool because you can really use any color you want and kind of any, any design you want. You don't have to draw the box, which I like. And I think it dresses up the nail really, really nice. I'm going to do this in uh, different kinds of lines, a straight line, a diagonal line. You will, uh, you will see. I'm just going to work out my size of my line here. Basically, I like it and I like it in the middle, but I mean you don't have to do it in the middle And it doesn't really matter if your line is straight or not because you're gonna go over top of the edge with a silver Like I have in this one. I don't know if you can see it good while I'm working on the rest of this, but it looks pretty cool. But you do want to leave a stripe. Now I've done this in white because I wanted to try and match the bow. So it looks like there's a ribbon going around the present-like nails. We'll fix that up in a bit. You won't be able to see the difference. Now we're going to work with several different colors just to show you that it can be used for anything, really. And I got some new products yesterday. I've tested a couple of them out. Look at that, I already got nail polish on my new nails. This is a copper with a uh, iridescent top on it. It's pretty cool. The copper I've got on my left hand and the iridescent I put on my right hand and it's copper color but when you put the iridescent on it almost makes it look like a mauve metallic iridescent 
It's not iridescent, it's hollow. Oh, I get the two of those mixed up. I found a hollow top coat. I've been looking for one for quite a while. You do definitely want to go over top of these <clears throat> a few times till you get it looking like full in coverage. But we may have to uh, rush it on the paint, on the nail polish, just so you can see how I do what I do. This might be a little bit longer than normal because I'm doing all four nails, but it'll give you an idea of what you can do and how you can do it different ways and what it could be used for in uh, like for Christmas, for birthdays, for anniversaries, for new babies. It'd be pretty cool. I haven't had my coffee yet so I'm a little shaky this morning. just want to make sure that I've got full coverage and then we can get going on basically the design. I hate these fake nails because the back is always up which is really weird to me but I guess it's kind of like hey stop here that's your cuticle area but I like it covered in these because it just makes the nail look better. <laughs> Oh. Don't forget to do your sides and cap, right? And you don't have to worry about the lines or anything like, 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 see how this is going crinkly? I don't know if you can see it. it might just look like color to you, but it's got like ribs in it, which is neat because then it makes it look like wrapping paper instead of just straight. I don't know about you, but when I wrap a present, I cannot wrap presents. <laughs> I can do anything else, but I, that's the worst thing. I buy all the presents, I get somebody else to wrap them. <laughs> uh, oh, and I just stuck my finger in that one. It's okay, we can fix it up. You just want a nice clean straight line in there because you're going to go in. I have uh, the silver stripe, which is what I'm using. Um, you're going to go in and you're going to uh, do your sides so it looks nice and straight. So we'll start with this red one and get that done. Then you're going to go in, I use a, a white acrylic. So you're just going to make these nice and straight and cover up any mistakes. And don't worry about it, you can go over it again. find the edges on these uh, these nails really hard to to get at and you can kind of turn the nail to help your striping brush go along just makes it a little bit easier like so and you're going to do that on every stripe then what you need 
What did I do with my white acrylic? Oh, I'm so organized today. <sighs> I haven't had my coffee yet. It's sitting beside me. That's what it is. <laughs> uh, there's several different ways you can do bows. <clears throat> I like this for, like, because you got a small area. So basically you're going to do a three and a backwards three and a little square in between and then meet it all up. And I will show you how to do that very shortly. I got too much. Don't want blobs on your striping brush. some reason I can never get the ends looking as good as the start. And you don't have to be perfect because your bow is going to cover up a lot of this. I'm just going to go in and put a little more on the bottom here. There, I think that's pretty good. Yeah, and you can do it any way you want. You can do vertical, horizontal, like I said. <clears throat> the hardest part for anything is waiting for stuff to dry. But there's three different types like you can do it. I personally, I like the diagonal or the straight. I'm not sure if I'm going to like the horizontal. And where you place the bow, you can place the bow anywhere. You can place it up top, you can place it at the tip, you can place it in the middle, you can place it on an angle. There's no rule saying where the bow should go. Okay, I hope this is dry. We're going to go in and we're going to do on this a little square in the middle. Sort of like a, a round square. As everybody's got a different way of doing bows. Then you're going to go on this side and what you're going to do is you're going to make like almost like a three shape. meeting up at the square. And then you're going to do a backwards three on this side. Then you're going to fill it all in with your white acrylic. It's almost like a butterfly shape is what you want the bow to be like. There's several other different ways to do a bow. And when you're doing the nails, you want all the bows to be the same. You don't want them to be all different. I'm just showing you because there's different ways of doing it. So if you don't like one way, you can do another way. And if you like one way, you could do, you know. Then there's the, the looped 
typo, which I am not very good at. <clears throat> so what you want to do is just do your square or round square. I kind of like it round. And what you're just going to do is just make a big oval off the end. On one side. And on the other side. Now this is one of the easiest bows to make. You can also put tails on it. All right, now that's gonna take some time to dry. The paint uh, takes quite a while to dry because, well, it's paint. <clears throat> I find the nail polish dries a lot faster than the paint. When I first started, I thought the paint was faster, but now I'm learning that the nail polish is faster. So as you go, when you're designing, right, then you want to do your tails. And you can either do, string tails are really, really easy. Right, so it just depends on what type of bow you like. You can also put tails on the butterfly bow, which is what I call it. So there's several different ways of doing it. You can go on YouTube and you can find a whole bunch of designs for bows. I just like my edges all nice and clean. You're going to go in with your striping brush and give definition to the bow when it's done. You're going to do around it and then around the square in the middle. We'll wait till the uh, paint dries here and I'll give you a little preview of what I do with my liner. There we go. <clears throat> so you're going to get your lining brush back out again. And what you're going to want to do is go around the edge of the bow and I like just getting the tip of the brush with new paint on it because it's easier to work that way. And you're going to outline your bow. I'm not going to do the middle right now because it's wet. But just get started on how I outline the bow. You can always go back and fill it in around your outline. But you want to basically make your outline really dominant over the top of the bow so that you can see it. Now you're going to have to do this a couple of times so that the silver really stands out around your bow. And not knock over your paint, <laughs> which is really hard not to do. And you're basically going to go and do the same thing to the oval bow. 
as what I'm doing to this bow, you're going to go around the edges. You're going to draw your little square in the middle. Just make sure if you get paint on your striping brush that you wipe it off before you dip it back in to the striper because you do not want acrylic paint in your nail polish. And basically you're just going to draw creases in the bow. This is not turning out very good because it's wet. You can also put a band on it like I did here. But I think because of the white stripe, it kind of indicates that there is a band there already. So that's not, uh, not too bad. You can put tails on it if you want. But it gives the idea of a, of a nice ribbon bow. These ones are much easier to do. It's the easiest type of bow that you can you can draw. I'm just gonna move that down because I don't want it all over my fingers. This takes a little bit of practice and I'm a little shaky because I haven't had my coffee yet. And you're going to do the same thing. You want a few lines in here. And then you can follow your tails down just to give it that extra dimension. And it doesn't have to be dead on. As long as it looks like a bell. See, that's like a Christmas now. It's pretty cool. I like it. So you can do the bows many different ways. And, and by layering it, you can actually make it look 3D if you want to layer it. You can do, do it with gel, make it pop right out. And uh, oh, Christy Meekin from Nail Nails, if you go on YouTube, she does a beautiful gel 3D bow that you can paint on your tin foil uh, with a base coat and then your gel polish and you can peel it off and cut it and shape it and glue it and put it right on the nail. You can also do that with these. That would look wonderful. But you get the, the idea of how this is done. Um, so you're going to start with your base coat. Then you can put on two layers of whatever color you want. And then you're going to put on your top coat after you're done. Everything.
You can put a top coat in between if you want. It's easier to erase if you've got a top coat over your paint because then you can just wash it right off and it should come right off. But I do it and then put the top coat on. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and you can go to my Nailed It Good website on uh, Facebook and I'm going to uh, show you my new products later this afternoon. I'm going to take a picture of them. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and please subscribe, please share and uh, we will see you next Wednesday where I have no clue what I'm going to do but I always come up with something. So we will see you soon. Have a good day. Bye.